Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, please welcome and please do not forget to like and subscribe. My name is Arimala Badmos and in this video we will be doing a uh, scenario outline example and uh, we are going to use uh, the the existing template and we'll see how it brings efficiency and simplicity to us. So in what um, scenario would we need to use um, a scenario outline? Let's say for this particular step, for this particular test case that we've created, we need to create it for three or four users. For instance, let's say we want to create for three or four users. So it means that um, we need new first name, we need new last name, and we need new postcode three to, um, four times or five times or how many times that, or number of times that we need it for. And um, when we want to verify that customer, we need to get that customer's uh, full name, right? And um, when we want to delete for that person, we need to get the person's first name. But imagine if we had to do that in our test and we need to write this same scenario four times, it won't make sense, or three times, it won't make sense. So let us try to use the same scenario um, to create, uh, to to uh, illustrate what we what we what we can do so i will copy this and i will paste it here since i've copied it i'll paste it here then i would comment out this one that we've already worked on so what i will do is i'll make some changes here so instead of having to do this three times like this one after the other typing in the first name last name and postcode i will remove that step and i will just have i type in the first name the first name the last name i'm going to put it this way and i'll have the postcode as well let me join this together and what other thing so when i want to select the name of the user itself uh let me call that full name i'll do that here and uh, when i want to search for the user i can search by their first name so i'll leave first name here so what i'll add to this is i'll put these ones in quotes i want to make it as fast as possible i'll put this in quotes i'll put this in quotes as well then one other thing I'll do is I'll add angle brackets to it. I'll add angle brackets to it. I have done this previously before. So if I'm moving at a um, speed of light, check my previous videos on Cypress uh, at BGD. I've um, done something like this before and I did so many, I did so many uh, approaches to it. So it's on the video and you would be able to learn that. But I'm just repeating it because I'm doing it for Cypress and um, Cypress with TypeScript, but it is not something that has not been covered before. So in here, I will put uh, the angle bracket and I'll do the same here as well. Also add an angle bracket to it. So the last part I would add on our feature file is the examples. Now, the examples will provide the data that we are going to fill into this, okay? Uh, this is good. It has already given us a template. So, <clears throat> um, let's just continue to use the template. Uh, is it going to start? Okay, good. So, we will now change what's in the template afterwards. So, let it give us the last one. Good. So, now. Let's give the names, let's just change the postcode to make this fast. Let's pick up postcodes, um, B, D, L, B, D, 5, 0, H, T, uh, B, L, 3, 7, Q, S. And uh, this will probably be what else can I think of? B L one eight eight B R. 
Well, the full name will just be the names there. No. John Mark Anthony. Let's change it to John Mark Anthony. Jane Doe. Let's leave that as Jane Doe. And let's do this as uh, Mary Poppins. Uh, Mark Anthony. And Jane Doe. So we're going to call the name here John Mark Anthony Jane Doe and um, this would be Mary Poppins then I can format this format the document with the Gherkin full support so now that I've done this then I need to create this step definition so I will just each time I'll just um, highlight on it then go here save myself headache it's a when I'm connecting a when action so the conjunction here and is a when so I'm going to pick when and go in here into E to E and uh, Banker journey and put that there and do the same for this is when as well in the ETU folder banker journey in the step folder I'll do that there too and um, the last one I think this is the last that we changed I'll do this too and um, go in here put it there and the next thing i will do is i will just go into the step definition where i've created all those steps where are they they are here then i'll begin to manipulate so the first thing i will just do is um i will copy i will copy one of these steps and start changing it because that's all we need so let me copy this for this particular one in order to type in all the first name, last name, and password, I will copy this. Then um, what I just need to do is call this, for clarity's sake, I'll call this first name. Let's just call it, call it first, last, and code, right? So the first field, first name field, I will insert first into it so in order to pass the actual value here because we add the value we've exposed the value in order to pass the actual value i'm going to use this method where i can pass in the actual value into it so i'll call it first so the first name field will be filled uh, let me just copy and paste the rest so i'll call this last but this is going into the last name field and I'll call this code and code is going into what's the we've done code before so this is the postcode field so I'll copy this and I'll put here so this goes into the postcode field and that should essentially fill it for us now the next part is we need to select the customer we've done the select command before so let's just look for the select command so going to copy this I'm going to paste here trying to make this as fast as possible so we don't have a very long video so in the cuts customer list what do we need to put there let's check we say the full name so we need to put the full name there so what we just do here so instead of concatenating anything we will not need to concatenate anything at all all we need to do is basically just do the same thing we did earlier create this type of variable let's just leave it as it is and it will still work so it will select the full name and continue and the last one the last part of it is you search for first name so um, it should search for first name which means you to type a text for the first name and where was that search for the user so we are going to use the search field 
the same step that was used before so we are going to use that and all we just need to change uh, is the argument so i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing i won't change anything i say okay then i'll just put the default argument that has been created here i'll put it there so i expect that this test will run three times but remember that i've said in in a, in a previous video that this particular app the way cypress runs it it doesn't save any session so which means if it starts itself again to run these three examples for us to run these three examples for us our validation will remain the same so which means we will not need to do anything with our validation why i'm mentioning this is that in your own case maybe in your real life project it might mean that your validation will change because the session will be saved so let us check it has already run but let's start it all over again running all the three examples and you see it's putting the name and it's searching and it's deleting them just at the same way doing the same thing all over again and everything has been accounted for and you can see that the verification will remain the same when we get to the verification yes you see it's an id6 it remains the same because it is not saved so this is a simple way to implement scenario outline and if i include this in it it will run everything all together if we go back into the code now you have four tests that will run and um, you've been able to run four tests by just writing two things essentially so this is what uh, scenario outline helps you to achieve and um, this brings us to the end of the video so if you've gotten this part please do not forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video bye bye